Hi all, this is Tom in the shop, and welcome to my rabbit hole. Um, this is the, the uh, completion video, or near completion video, of my hobby machine with a differential index train. Um, this has been a fairly long journey. This is my winter's project. Completed now, finally, or nearly completed, and the first run, and the production of the first gear. Um, I hope you find it interesting, and as always, please feel totally free to hit like and subscribe, and, um, and offer a comment or a question if you feel so moved. Thanks for watching. Well, this is it. This is first chips on Rev 4 or 5 or whatever it is of my, uh, of my hobby machine. This is the first live fire exercise with the new differential system. I'm making a 33 tooth gear, which I know is not a prime number, but that's what I could do with the gears I already had made. And uh, so for trial purposes and making sure that the tooth count comes out right and all that stuff, um, that's gonna be just fine. This is looking pretty good so far. Well, crap. It would have been 33 teeth had it lived. Well, here we go. This is a second live fire test with the, the new differential index train on the hobby machine. I'm cutting a 33 tooth gear. Uh, this is my second, uh, second try. Uh, the first time I forgot to tighten something in the, in the differential and it uh, it locked up the index train halfway through the gear and that's why you use an aluminum blank for your first test because uh, even though it was a pretty good crash it uh, didn't do any damage uh, that I can tell. Anyway uh, this is going pretty well so far let's have a look around the machine. Well, there it is. My first gear off the new machine with the differential index train that allows me to produce any tooth number uh, that I might want by just changing a couple of gears. What, uh, what comes after this for the rest of this video is just a collection of photographs and short videos uh, to show how this machine was produced and kind of update everyone on the progress and completion of my winter's project. Thanks for watching.
and there's nothing like watching gears go around. Boring, very boring. Just another quick view of the system from a different angle. You can see the output gears that I've added, the output banjo plate there for adjusting the lash. Um, so these gears can slide along that center. Well, this looks like the quote unquote final version of the differential gear train for my hobby machine. Uh, these projects are always a voyage of discovery for me. And uh, I, there's usually a fair bit of kind of free form and contemporaneous improvisation and improvement that goes on. It's all part of my learning algorithm, I guess, uh, by making mistakes. Um, but I'm moving the, the center point, center line of the spindle started here. Um, and I had two sets of idlers in between in a, a two to one step up here. And now it's just a, this is an idler. And I'm gonna put the spindle pretty much on this center line. There's a tight mesh in there somewhere, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more debugging, but all in all, this doesn't seem too bad. The, uh, the just another angle. You can see that I haven't fully welded out the support structure yet for the gear plate. That's still to be done, but it seems to be plenty strong for what I've got going. And, you know, this looks a lot more like a real machine than that kind of cobbled up 10,000 adjustments setup that I had before. So, um, so I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. And since it's uh, all the mechanical stuff is done, I think it's time for me to 
3 d print a cover for the differential just to... And that, as they say, is that. I want to thank all my subscribers um, and all the people that have given me comments and feedback. And uh, I appreciate your interest. And um, stand by for the next chapter, which I believe will have something to do with replacing that rotary table. Uh, anyway, best to you all, and thanks for watching.